what's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel. We're online at www.whatsupinthesky.com. And I've got a, uh, I thought this was pretty neat. This isn't like anything groundbreaking probably or anything uh, too crazy or anything at all really. But I, this is the only place I've ever seen this. But it looks like tracks in the uh, sand here. And also it looks like some fake sand. And it looks like this, this up here is totally fake. Um, Check this stuff out. It's either the rover has been shooting its laser and having some fun playing, or something's been uh, cracking this stuff off. And if this is like this, that means we've got a lot more water up there than they're telling us about, because it sure does look like it's a little wet to me. Um, I'd imagine, I guess, if you broke this down a little bit, tell me that doesn't look like uh, it had a little bit of, when it was done, like it was wet. Now, I don't know what to say. They don't say that they've actually done this with the rover, like they've shot the laser at or something. But look at these lines right here. It almost looks like they were put in by something. Um, and then here, too, see how the darkness of the sand changes? Let me show you where I got this. This is from, uh, basically, I think this is uh, 574. Yeah, 574. I'm about to do a couple more videos from it. This whole saw is pretty amazing. And uh, if you're new to my videos, you haven't seen any, I think that Mars, you know, Mars was fully functioned planet, just like it probably still is today, but back then it had uh, some pretty amazing things in it. Uh, water, in abundance, you know, we might be looking at a lake bed here with the Gale Crater, this could have been, uh, you know, part of an ocean or something like that. We're just not 100% sure, but this stuff is just cool. I'm not going to keep you guys long on it, but I definitely wanted to show you and get your ideas of what you guys think this is. And I'm also going to show you some classic NASA manipulation. And I hate, you know, I hate to even have to go there and say this because they do manipulate everything that comes back um, that needs to be manipulated, I guess. First off, where are we at? I saw it earlier. Well, first, check this out here. Tell this, see this perfect, uh, like, platform that's buried in the sand there? And it's about as perfect circle as you can get. And it comes off to, to here, and it's the back of this one. Um you can see that up here there's some writing on this rock and you can see where here's where they started doing the uh, the blur techniques with it here we go where's this writing at I saw it earlier more of it up here um, that's not the piece I saw though earlier it was much better where'd you go here it is right here either this is some sort of weird writing or it was liquid or something see how it comes down check this out and it starts getting blurred out all this has been blurred out um, you can tell that it's been hit with it. And see how this comes down here? And it looks like this was one time either water was dropping through there or this was part of something. But here's how you can tell it's been blurred out, at least at this spot right here. Um, where this piece had goes up to the top here and starts getting interesting, see how they just square block that out? Sometimes it's hard to see when you're looking at it on like a, you don't have a big screen, but it just gets so much blurry. You don't see the choppiness in the pixels. It looks like something was up there to hide. Um, but definitely something water or something dripping down there for a while. Here again, you've got, well, see these blinds things that they put in there and they hide. And more and more, I'm just thinking that uh, they're hiding whatever they find up there from us. And I guess that's just how it's going to be. Now, some people are saying, oh, it's just the, the pictures are coming back so blurry. Um, and people, some people are just saying, oh, that's just the rover getting old and things like that or dust on it. I'm just not buying it. I don't know why. I mean, we spent... $2 billion, it's got a nuclear uh, drive to it, I mean, nuclear powered, that thing could last forever. Um, the wheels are going to fall off it, apparently, because whoever designed the wheels should be fired. I've said that a couple of times, but see how here, tell me this sand here doesn't look fake as well. And here's where we've got some more of this blurring effect. And you can see it really good right here. See the blind effect that they put in right here? They've made it really big right here, though. Perfect, it's all it just gets, it gets more and more not lame, but more and more obvious each time. I mean, look how, <laughs> you can see here how it goes up, right? They don't even take the time to get in there really fine with it. And I guess with all the ones coming down, they probably don't have the time to get them all that fine. But here, here's another blur, just chopped right out. What was here? See this right here? That doesn't match anything. That was pasted into it. So what's that, what's that hiding? Is there something here that's moving along the surface and making this? Um, once again, they've blurred out here. More of a line down here they've blurred out because you can see it all comes together right here. Now, why? <laughs> that's just what ticks me off. Now, if you guys are going to do this, at least give us some credit. I mean, look at this stuff doesn't even line up. This is supposedly one picture. This isn't a mosaic or panorama or anything. One picture. 
This should not look like this. It should not just cut off straight. So they've hidden something. They've pasted some of the copied some of this stuff in, it looks like. And uh, there's so many people that say that, that the rover's not up there on Mars. And I hate to hear that. But gosh, every time I see stuff that looks like they've been doing the... Like they, they've been blurring stuff out. I just have to wonder why. Why are they doing it? Now let me change what I usually do. I usually do a uh, the auto color. Make it look more like Earth. And uh, even then you get this. See, is this stuff cracked from water? Or was this done with the rover? Let me back it up a little bit. This was the one. Sorry for making you sick, guys. This one looks like they had done a face or something. And maybe this is the laser. Maybe they're having fun with the laser up there. I'm not 100% sure. But whatever they're doing, or whatever this is, this is what interests me. Like, where they've cut or whatever's done this has either dropped this other sand down or water had done it, and uh, surface water had done it recently. This hasn't been there for this long. Look how perfect that comes down, like a uh, the, the drip drop spoon. Um, this stuff looks kind of like coral down here. Just interesting how it's all the pieces of it. But I'm gonna leave you guys with this one. And this to me, and I'm, I'm gonna say I'm gonna give this to my guys out there. You all know who you are. Who comment? You guys rock. What do you guys think about this sand, especially the graphic guys? This stuff looks like it's been kind of, some of it's been put there to hide some stuff. Over here, just kind of dumped in, maybe possibly even right here. But if you go through it, you're going to see yourself. You'll see where they've uh, blurred stuff out, especially when you make it big. And uh, up here, like I said, it looks like T-T-I-Y-A. And it looks like some things up here, and then you get, it just gets all kind of blurred out. And down here at the bottom, you've got some more of these little uh, things. So are these little critters running around making these tracks? Or are we doing it? What do you guys think? Much love, guys. A quick, easy one for you. Let me know what you guys think this stuff is. Is it just normal? I mean, um, everywhere else we've been, seems like uh, it's real fine soil. Like it just comes right off the rover wheels. It doesn't stick to it. And that's not usually what you see when you make stuff like this. Like this looks like the guy that comes to Ocean City, Maryland, and makes the sandcastle. He does amazing, uh, like, Christian art. He does Christian art. It's like like the face of Jesus and then all the crosses and stuff. And uh, he uses the glue and the water I mean, to get it to stay like that. But Alright guys, what do you think? What's up in the sky at 37? My name is Will. Take it easy. Peace.